Hey guys, this is FML Nation here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Xbox One controller or your Xbox 360 controller um, as a mouse. So uh, this may come in handy it, for for something or other, um, but if you're using it for gaming or you just didn't have a mouse at the time, but um, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So let's get to it. So, um, first what you want to do is, um, you want to have a Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller, of course. Um, but just go and plug that into your computer, as you can see here. I've already plugged it in. Um, yeah, and then you want to go down to here, to our Graphle 360 webpage. Just, uh, either click this link. Um, but I actually put this in the description, um, as well, so, uh, then what you want to do is you want to, um, go to that web page that I just showed you here, and you want to, um, just go down and download Gruffa EXE. So you want to download that, and as you can see, it's like, 12 kilobytes, so it's not even much anyway. Um, yeah, then what you want to do is just drag it to your desktop or anywhere you want to put it. But as you can see, I already have the file, so you don't want to, um, yeah, so you want to drag it to your desktop or something like that. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, um, you would just go to, um, Gruffer, EXE, which is down here. You want to double click on it and accept yes, of course. Um, yeah, and then as you can see, yep, it's uh, ready. And um, you can now move around with your uh, um, joystick, whatever. Um, and yeah, you can basically do anything. Uh, so if I want to click on uh, my web browser, I can just press A. And B is to go back, of course. But I don't want to do that. It's kind of sensitive, of course, so um, just keep in mind that. And. Uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, peace out, guys.